Hello everyone. Today our topic is iterative model. The iterative model is repetition incarnate. Instead of starting with fully known requirements, we implement a set of software requirements, then test, evaluate, and pinpoint where the requirements. A new version of the software is produced with each iteration. Rinse and repeat until the complete system is ready. This model gives us a working version early in the process and makes it less expensive to implement changes. Iterative process starts with a simple implementation of a subset of the software requirements and iteratively enhances the following versions until the full system is implemented. At each iteration, design modifications are made and new functional capabilities are added. In this model, the total software development is divided into iterations and each iteration has design and development, testing, implementation, and review phases. The remaining phases, such as requirement, analysis, deployment, and maintenance are one time and does not involve any iterations. Iteration one is considered as a basic iteration and it should include all the phases of the software development lifecycle. Review phase is usually performed after the product deployment. It used to check the behavior and validity of the developed product. If there are any error found, then the process starts again from the requirement gathering. The main difference between the incremental model and the iterative model is that an iterative process makes progress through continuous refinement, while an incremental process makes progress through small increments. In general, an iterative product will get to the market before an incremental product, but the incremental product will be more complete when initially released. Next applications of iterative model. The iterative model is most often used in the following scenarios. The software application is large, Requirements of the complete system are clearly defined and understood. There are some high risk features and goals which may change in the future. There is a time to the market constraint. A new technology is being used and is being learned by the development team while working on the project. Resources with needed skill sets are not available and are planned to be used on contract basis for specific iterations. Iterative model has the following advantages. This model gives you a working version early in the process and makes it less expensive to implement changes. Testing and debugging during a smaller iteration is easy. It's easily acceptable to our changing needs of the project. Risks are, are identified and resolved during iteration. Limited time spent on documentation and extra time on designing. A parallel development can take place. However, the iterative model has the following disadvantages. Design can be changed because of imperfect requirements. It's not suitable for small projects. Project completion date not confirmed because of changing requirements. More resources may be required. Requirement changes can cause over budget. For today, that's all. Thank you.